Yeah, and I think that's the whole thing, isn't it? We've all got. It's almost like you're imposing your own yeah, not, judgments. Not on everyone world. wants to follow someone else's path, so to speak. Yeah. But I it's think not, I think it's, it's like, a great example. But yeah. like I said, hands up. I'm I'm certain I would have been on both sides of that equation, without a doubt. Oh, I'm sure we mo- most of us would have been. So Meg has been on the podcast. So you know, Meg talk about anxiety. And there's sometimes episode when twelve when we... back in the archive, people. If you want to go and have a listen. Oh, brilliant memory, Lee. Brilliant memory. You know, sometimes Meg just wants to talk, but I, I, I'm 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 in coaching mode. I'm trying to, Dad. I just don't want you to coach. I just want you to listen, and just be there as a sounding board. And I think we can learn a lot from that, right? Sometimes people don't want you to do anything, other than just be there and listen intently and acknowledge what's being said. And that's what, because that's what I really want to get across as well is that, you know, we tend to go into solution mode. We've got to try and resist that temptation, and we've got to try and resist the temptation of trying to do things that we we think they need rather than you know, rather than just sitting there and listening. And the cues that I've learned over the years is that I will just wait. Now, when Meg talks, you know, using Meg as an example, this happens, you know, a while. Is that I, I, I will just sit and talk, and until Meg says, "Oh, well, what do you think?" that's when I'll go into it. I won't even try and give advice unless it really is listed if they want it. But one, I'll only do it if they ask me for an opinion. And two, once they say, oh, can you help me? That's when I'll go into a mode of coaching and going into that space rather than, that's the thing I've learned, rather than going to that space straight away. Because it may not that it may not be that that person wants that at that point. And I think we should be led by the person coming to you for that I was um... sounding board, right? Because I've done some mentoring as well. And so I've, another thing I've done with mentoring is that you know, I want to structure an agenda, but I've realized that that doesn't really work. The parameters have got to be set by the person. Um, so you're best in the world. You have the best intentions, but it's not about you. It's about them. So you need to be guided by them or what they need. And so how I do that is get feedback from them and say, hey, is this working for you? Is it not working for you? And I do that with a lot of people in my training and coaching. So building the structure around them with what they say is the key around empathic listening. Uh-huh.